Oh, it is. It is in stereo. So it went right channel, left channel there as it came around the other side of the aircraft. Fuel truck is in position. Please use your airplane fuel system to set the desired fuel quantity. So again, it's telling me. The other thing I found interesting was that GSX is on a different uh, sound system than the sim. I wonder if you can actually change. It's on the. I wonder if you can actually change the sound card that this is on. GSX settings. Audio. Oh yeah, you can. Do I dare change it in the middle? Please use your airplane fuel system to set the desired fuel quantity. I think I will. Oops. <laughs> Everything is zoomed in like dramatically like everything is seven times zoom for the phoenix the jet a truck shows up and for the 737 an av gas uh av gas truck shows up oh that is weird exponent um i don't understand why changing the sound card made everything zoom in and i don't think there's a way to recover this so i'm gonna have to uh See? See how? Oh, there we go. We got it back. That was weird. I wonder if GSX is dead, though. All right, let's request refueling. And uh, sure, we'll use refueling Delta. Refueling truck is on its way. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it. I don't think GSX is using that new sound card, but let's check. It's weird that it, it changed the visuals when I just changed the audio. Uh, generic software. Oh, music. Okay. There is my mixer. Seemed like that was changing it. Good morning, Scotty Bob. Happy Sunday to you. Yeah, that was a weird outcome for sure. I think I'm going to try to do game capture instead of display capture. Yeah. Okay, so the fuel truck is coming again. And we'll see if I can control the sound volume. Yep, I can control GSX volume now separately from the from the plane. So that's good. Hello, Scotty P7409. I hope you're well. Long time no cheaty chat. I um I woke up this morning and I said Do I stream? And my wife said, stream. And I said, yes, ma'am. I also have a surprise product that showed up. D Moneys, I know you're driving home. I don't know if you're still in, in contact with the John Fly voice, but I wonder if you also received a package from like unsolicited package from a, a vendor because I received a really cool product I don't I'm not sure if I can talk about it though but I kind of want to talk about it <laughs> all right so it's telling me again to use the FMC so again here I'll show it to you guys if I set it to one-third it's almost like GSX doesn't Let's recognize it. See? To set the desired fuel quantity. Hello, Star Lugo. Yeah, it, it, um, yeah, so it doesn't recognize when I set it to one third, but if I set it to two thirds, let's see what happens. 
Now it recognizes it. So that's a little bit of a bug that it doesn't recognize one third, but it'll recognize two thirds. And again, it does an instant, an instant refuel. Now, some of you who are on Twitch and you're, I'm sure that you've seen this, well, maybe you haven't, but I'm assuming a lot of you have seen GSX Pro in use since it, it got released a few, few days back. And I'm sure a lot of streamers have been streaming it. And there's been YouTube videos and stuff. So I'm not sure if that's something that's just relative to me. If I'm doing something wrong. Or if that's a bug with just setting it to one third. And also, I don't know if any of you have witnessed an actual fuel hose. I, I'm, I'm curious. But, um... My plane's acting a little bit interesting, too. Okay, so we'll come down here to the menu. We will do PMTG setup. Actually, we'll just do we're at cold and dark. We're fine. So we'll go to um, ground services, and we're going to request ground power. Okay, that's in there. So now we'll do battery. Oh, sorry. Battery. All right, we're going to go to Salt from Salt Lake City to Las Vegas. We are flight Southwest 572. And I'm going to turn down the plane a little bit. I haven't had time to watch anyone with the GSX program this past week. Well, I haven't either. Uh, I, I, well, let me correct. I have had time. I've just chosen to do a few other things. But I did see a YouTube video for a moment on uh, Dave's uh, 757 Spice uh, stream. So I'm going to grab a flight plan for Salt Lake City to Vegas. Scotty P, have a good time. One day you need to give me an update on your bird. How is your how's your real world bird? I'd like to find out how that's going. Catch you later. All right, Southwest 572. I'm just building the uh, flight plan in sim brief. Looks like we're going to do the Zion's one, Enoch transition. All right, so we'll choose next page, Zion's one, Enoch transition. And as far as Runways, we'll go one six. Uh, southwest usually goes one six left. Well, with the old airport, they did. All right, so that's executed. Reserves of four cost index sixty five. We're going to cruise at 320. 139, 141, 145. Pretty high V speeds here. Uh, as far as payload is concerned, 
148 in economy. Okay. All right, now we'll do the arrival. Which will be the Chow 2 to 2 6 left. And we're going to do it via stew. And then we'll do ILS 2 6 left. Uh, transition Prino. Okay, next. Get rid of that discontinuity, execute. All right, that all looks good. Okay, now let's see if we can do a GSX. Um, let's do, well, uh, let's do, let's request catering, sure. Uh, I want to do LSG Sky Chefs. No, Southwest Airlines. Catering vehicles are on their way. Catering vehicles are on their way now. I'm assuming I have to open up some doors, or will the question is, is will GSX open the doors for me? Good day, Captain Australia. How are you, mate? As you can hear, the catering trucks are getting louder and louder. I guess that's real world. They don't come instantly. They take their time getting to you. Looks like they're coming in from the left side here. Look at that, everybody loves free snacks. The doors did open. Look at that, it, oh, and they're bringing the food in. You wanna come say hi? Don't touch that keyboard. Do you wanna? Okay, you wanna come say hi to everyone? Where's your glasses? Go get your glasses and then come back. Don't go DR, good morning. I love how you can hear the metal grate that they're traveling on. This metal grate right here. It's in stereo. It's got a little hop to him too. Mick Wild, yes, this is the Max 10. 
How did you know? How could you recognize it? Floaty people add on, yeah. Is he floating? Uh, actually, he's even ducking. He is even ducking. And the guy down here in the truck is, um, he's got some movement too. He's jamming to some iTunes. It does look good. I didn't realize that we were just going to load this plane full of food instead of passengers because how many uh, Southwest does not have that much food are they done I think they're done maybe that's a lot of pretzels I turned up my volume even though I can hear you perfectly. I wanted to hear the metal grate. Yeah, I can I can make the metal grate sound louder. I guess, but I think they're done. It's beeping at me and I'm not sure what that means. Cajun cacti, good to see you as well. Uh I can't tell if it's like do I tell the trucks to go away or do they go away automatically? Uh, oh, re rear entry forward. Close rear entry forward. Okay, so they open it. They open it, but I have to close it. Okay. I'm going to turn up the... Partly lazy, yeah, Star X, for sure. You reloaded PMDG, what do you mean, Cajun? Okay, waiting for your door, close right entry, okay. I didn't see that text up there before. Did I just miss it? All right, so FS actions, doors, close, close. Oh, look at that, the retraction. All right, that's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Uh, I was just asking, have, have you received any unsolicited packages from China? Because <sighs> I did, and it was from the vendor that we were, uh, when you and I were testing that product last year, or the year before, <laughs> and um, they, have a new, they have a new product, so that just showed up at my doorstep, so I'm like, ooh. Uh, you can't close the doors from the outside. I wish you could. Huh. Noteworthy. Yeah. More coffee, Cajun. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a Tanzanian pea berry coffee this morning that I, I, I ground the, uh, the beans myself and I did a pour over. Oh. Mm. If you ever see Tanzanian pea berry available on the shelf whole bean and you have you know you're into the grinding and pouring over do it you haven't seen anything okay well maybe when you get back home maybe there's something on your doorstep uh i'm going to be moving uh let's see you're oh you're moving to a on maintaining and repairing the air stairs oh very cool Uh, noteworthy, from what I understand, it would be the cabin crew that would close the door after catering is done, not the ground crew. No idea if that's true. I think you're totally correct, because they have to, you know, they have to do the whole seal and turn. Yeah, they, so it would be, you're right, it would be the crew. 
But I, you know, GSX could close it, acting as if they are the crew, maybe. Uh, that guy Mo, yes, I found one bug so far, and it was related to uh, refueling, and it was in the menu under FS Actions Fuel. If you try to set it to one third. The GSX refueler doesn't work, but it worked on two thirds and full. So far, that's it. Oh, and there was also a bug when I changed the sound input for GSX by itself. It magnified my sim. It 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 went into a weird mode, and I had to minimize the window and then come back. Trader Joe's dark roast. Ooh, I don't think you're supposed to put any creamer into. Trader Joe's Dark Roast, though. Strong and cheap. Like me. <laughs> I am enjoying that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, not too bad. I, I'm just barely... We're just barely... Uh, we're just barely getting into it. So I'm going to do GSX. I don't like the fact that I can't just click that and it comes up with the menu. It's like sometimes it comes up with that. When I first go to it, but... Not the end of the world. All right, catering service is complete. Refueling is complete. We will request boarding. I think once more profiles are created for specific airplanes and airports, it'll be a lot better. I would agree with that. Oh, Flipstar. And this is just the beginning. Can I, should I just call you Flipstar? Um, this is obviously early days in GSX Pro. So... There's that too. Are they? Is that? Did that PM? Boarding requested. Oh, whoa. Okay. I didn't. I didn't expect this to happen. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm kind of digging that. Oh yeah, I was not expecting that. I I thought I was not expecting that. I thought we were gonna do air stairs. I'm impressed. And look, the uh, oh, we do have air stairs on the back, and we do have luggage going into the belly. We're not gonna see any passengers walking down the terminal because the terminal is not pilots boarding starting see through. But the pilots, I wonder if we'll see the pilots come into the cabin. No, we won't. I'm impressed. Is that you, Flyboy? Flyboy's coming in to say hello. I'm gonna have you. Hold on. You can. T they're gonna talk to you back in the chat room. So if you have a question for him. What's your favorite color on? What's your favorite color? That's a good basic starting question. I like it. Crew boarding starting. Crew boarding starting. Say crew boarding starting. Crew boarding starting. Okay, so Dogo, can you read those colors? Flyboy can start to read. See the colors they're telling you? Yeah. What colors are they? Purple, orange, blue, pink, pink, black. black. There's a lot of favorite colors there. And Dogo says, good morning, Flyboy. Say hi, Dogo. Hi, Dogo. And Scotty Bob 64. Hi, Scotty Bob 64. Yeah. Okay, do you have any other, like, really... Probing questions. Uh, really hmm. depth. Can I tell you a joke? Go ahead, just tell them a joke. What did the chip say to the nacho? What did the chip say to I can I get started. some fried cheese? <laughs> of you? Thank you for your joke. All right. 
I think it's completed. Thank you. He wants to start a channel, but he's not old enough yet. But maybe we'll do some, maybe we'll do some rehearsing. In about, I don't know, in about seven, eight years, in seven or eight years, I think you'll just take over my stream. Will you? You, you have to learn how to fly a, f a plane or two. Well, actually, I don't fly very well, so you're fine. You'll probably fly better than I do. <laughs> Look at they sent you a picture. No, the... The nachos. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, so it says here, uh, oh, it's boarding passengers. So it takes a little while. The air stairs should have come out from below the forward door on the actual plane. I've never seen a Southwest airplane with air stairs. Oh, I take that back. I think I saw a Fly J Sim 737-200, the old, the old classic, come out with a uh, air stair. Or was that the? Uh, yeah, I had an air stair. It said eight out of 176, nine out of 176 loaded. Oh, lo luggage. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, now that is looking really good, actually. All right, th I'm impressed with this. It just, it really does look good. I wish you guys could be here on the 4K TV. I wonder if they simulate other airlines having less checked baggage, whereas Southwest has like the the largest amount of checked baggage out of air, any airline. Yep, <clears throat> I'm impressed. I already said it. I'll say it again. I'm assuming that I'll pretty soon get Southwest. Uh, I already have Southwest catering trucks, but I don't have Southwest luggage trucks, so I'm assuming that's coming.
my question is how often are we going to do this and just sit here I think it's different for a streamer because we can talk while this is doing this action but I don't know if every time I load up the sim if I'm just going to sit there and watch them load the luggage but I do I am quite uh, impressed by the quality of the animation and the whole process and the fact that they can they've made it so they recognize where my plane is and they can position the baggage loader correctly all that good math it's impressive but I just don't know if I'll be doing it every time I fly but obviously GSX comes with not only the fuel the catering the passenger loading luggage loading but I think the biggest thing that we want is that pushback, right? I wonder if they have DIs. Right there, there's the bug where I click on this and it doesn't come up with the menu. But if I click it again, it comes up with the menu. All right, so we've got... Uh, we're boarding passengers now. There's the prepare for pushback and departure, which will probably be our map. We can operate the jetways, stairs, additional services. I don't know what's under there, but... Well, very cool. I do think that they also branded my airport because I, that, and I'm assuming that all of these gates are part of the product, like the ones that say Delta. The ones that say Salt Lake City International Airport. Uh, I'm assuming that's a part of GSX Pro. A union operation, exactly. <laughs> All right, just a couple more pieces of luggage. A couple more ham radios to load on. Board. Some collapsible antennas. Dipoles. Some linear amplifiers. Some Doritos, some waffles. What else is going on? A uh, bit of news on the um, fantasy sports side of things. Uh, the Snack Air Fantasy Football League is locked and loaded, and the draft time is set. I believe it's September early in September I'll probably stream it live and then we're gonna have a fun season I'm looking forward to fantasy football this year I'm in three leagues this year that's all I can handle off scared descent how are you doing we just had the uh, luggage loaded so they're obviously Coming away from the from the plane. I wonder if the air stairs is gonna automatically remove. Yeah, he's he he was on Flyboy was on stream just a just a bit ago. He told a really good joke. <laughs> I didn't get it, but it was good. Alright, so I'm thinking it, it wants me to close the doors, so I will come in and go to the FS actions doors it's interesting because oh it's probably on the next page there we go close the cargo <coughs> forward close the cargo aft I, I don't know if the passengers are done I don't know if the passenger passengers are done loading though Yep, still boarding. GSX, worth it or not, looks like it adds a lot of vehicles that won't yield the right-of-way to, to a taxiing aircraft. 
Um, so far, I've just done the refuel, which is, I didn't see a hose, and, I, and it was an instant load. I was rather impressed with the catering truck. It was airline branded with, you know, come get your free snacks for a Southwest branding. And they, as the guy was pushing the, the food cart over the metal grate, that extended from the food truck. The sounds of the metal grate were, were pretty impressive. It does have stereo sound right left. So as the plane, you know, as the as the catering truck or the fuel truck or a, another ground vehicle is coming by, it switches from left to right in the stereo. Uh, they loaded way too much food onto this plane. I think they put in back and forth like 148 meals. It looked like. How did they spell snacks? The incorrect way, but we won't knock them too much for that. So I, I was impressed with the the catering and, and apparently, you know, obviously I want luggage vehicles and air stairs that say the correct airline, but you know, not too bad. Still boarding passengers. Passengers take a long time to board. My understanding is the fueling thing is due to PMDG doing its own fueling. I've seen other planes get a hose and take a while to fuel it, etc. Says noteworthy nerd. Well, that's good to know. Uh, do you happen to know if the Phoenix, if the Phoenix or the working title have the hose? Does SWA serve mails? Uh, out of your backpack. Seventy-seven out of one hundred and seventy-six loaded. Wait, we can't take one hundred seventy-six passengers. <sighs> All right, I'm going to. I wonder if I can stop the boarding process. Just pretend like. Uh, reposition. All right, we're doing a. Twin City Jeff with the subscribe. When are we getting GSX for SC? I think that GSX for SC would be potentially a multi-million dollar product. And that would finance our ham radio hobby. Uh, there's got to be a way I can stop this. Fuel truck not available during boarding. Deboarding no longer available. We don't worry about that. Thank you for the 26 months, Jeff. Hope you're well. Passengers take a very long time to deboard too, especially at the end of a long four-day when you're hours late and have a two-hour drive home from the airport. You want to get home before this, the sun comes up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Calypsia, hello. How are you? Hey, Fast Joe. Reset will do it? Okay. Thank you, Joe. Uh, reset position. If you set the passenger slider to dense, they'll load much faster. Is that in the GSX settings? So, okay, so here we go. So simulation parameters, the follow me car speed, 18 knots, parking slowdown speed, 7.5 knots, start pushback distance, 100 meters or 300 feet. <clears throat> I don't see in here yet the, ah, here we go. Passengers, if you slide, if you slide it too dense. So, uh, more dense, like dense, like that, very dense. Minimum tech, uh, time in refueling, 15 seconds. Okay. All right, we'll do very dense. Oh, that's the spacing in between people. So, that guy that's following me down the jetway that I don't know him. He's a, <clears throat> excuse me, he's a complete stranger, but he's practically breathing on my right ear. This is simulating that dense guy right up, right up in my ear. Yeah, okay, I get it. 
Okay, the follow me car stuff's kind of interesting. Yeah, you can feel the breath on your neck. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, question came up months ago when you were using MSY Scenery. You asked if they got a new tower with the new terminal. Got a chance to ask. Answer is no, they are still in the old tower. Okay. Do you remember that? Thanks for the update. In GSX, he'll walk right through you. Just violate that personal space. All right, let's go to... Uh, it still says boarding passengers now, even though I, repos I did a reset position. So, I don't want to reposition aircraft. It is at 105, but... I guess I could go back to GSX settings and do... Timings insane. Oh, oh, I think I just saw a person. I did. That's the first time I've seen a person actually boarding. Yeah, right there. You can see him right through the. That's cool. I guess while they're boarding, we can do other pilot stuff. Hello. FMC, all that's done. I'll come up here, yaw damper on. Oh, it doesn't like the yaw damper on. What airport is this? Uh, it's a default uh, Salt Lake City. So it's it's not. Oh. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. They can walk on water. Interesting. Anyway, it's not it's not a uh, yeah it's not a high end aircraft or sorry airport. I I need to I need them to make a, a new Salt Lake City. Have a good one, sir. Hello, Captain. We're ready for pushback. Ready for pushback. Oh, is he removing the chocks? Oh, he's up inside my... Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Wow. Okay. Uh, up here we want to do APU gen. Pilots mostly surf their phones or lurk, lurk twitch, lurk twitch, lurk twitch while passengers board. Yeah. I guess we should probably close that door, huh? So menu, FS actions, doors, closed door. You can still fly with it open? I haven't tried that lately, on purpose anyway. Uh, or disconnect the ground power. I wonder how GSX is going to handle my... Yeah, 
It's interesting that I got no alignment going on, so probably need to rotate those. Index position. There we go. When ground shoe checks in, you reply back, pumps off, door, door lights out, parking brake set, or door open, no pushy. <laughs> door open, no pushy. All right, GSX menu. Uh, how come I? Oh, the default pushback is a, is a, a hundred feet. I thought there was a map though. Is th I thought there was a. I guess I clicked that. Is there a way that you can map on this yet or no? Let's try. Let's find out. Ah, here we go. Nose right, tell left. Nose left, tell right, or quick edit pushback. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Oh, wow, they did it. They did it. How do I move? Can I move that back, though? Can you not see the GSX menu when outside the plane? That's weird. Oh, it's arrow keys. All right, so the arrow keys are not letting me move it much. Oh, if I just, I tap it. So how do I turn the uh, hold shift to do it faster? Thank you. How do I turn the plane? How do I turn the, uh, the direction? Numpad one and three. Oops. It doesn't like that because I've got views. I've got views set up for numpad one and three. That's not good. I wonder if there's another way to do it. I, I, yeah, so I'm assuming that you can change Well. Exiting from editing mode. Please wait. Release parking brakes. Release parking brakes. Uh oh. Release parking brakes. My parking brake is. Jacked. Release parking brakes. Release parking brakes. Oh, chocks? Menu. FS actions. Ground services. Release parking brakes. Thank you. 
uh, Warn All Gaming. <laughs> So yeah, I need to change that the one numpad one and three. You could cancel pushback and try changing buttons. Yeah, I need to do that. Thank you. You have to hold down the foot brakes. Actually that didn't work, Steve, but the chalks did. So that's good. Are the hotkeys in GSX customizable? I haven't seen an option anywhere. I'd like to know that myself, actually. Technically we're supposed to be doing an engine start right now, but I've had a problem with the PMDG, had to recalibrate my rudders. Chat flying the Phoenix and my FMC is not turning on any suggestions. Oh, you mean chat, comma, flying Phoenix and my FMC is not turning on any suggestions. It's good. Um, hold down the menu button for five seconds. Set parking brakes. Isn't there a button? Or is there a brightness to control on that, maybe? Maybe they're on and it just the brightness control is not there. Waiting your confirmation for good engine start. Um, I'm not going to start yet until I fix something. So I'm going to go up to escape control options. Toggle parking brake on keyboard. Uh, up, down. I'm going to try the I'm going to try that and see what happens. Is your Phoenix app running in the background, Cajun Cacti? Yeah, I can't get the parking brake to set. So it's not necessarily a joystick problem. Maybe I have to hold the brakes, like you said. Hello, 757 Spy. Happy landing. Thank you. I was just mentioning to you that... Look at that. Steve D20 is the man. Thank you, Steve D. I just had to hold him. I just had to hold the brakes down. All right, packs. Uh, to off. I think that is a thing that's telling me to start my engines. But I'm not sure. Try starting number two. We're first hoping f for a happy takeoff, says John DFW. That's actually 100% correct. The pushback left and right options only work if the airport profile has been updated. Very tedious work making these profiles. Ah, adding fuel. <clears throat> So I need someone to make uh, certain air, uh, airport profiles higher priority than others. They want you to confirm good engine start. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. How do you confirm? 
It's probably in the menu. By the way, I lost the menu. Yeah, I, I lost the GSX menu. I think I've lost the G. Oh, I got it back. <laughs> Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Unlocking gear. Here is the info on brakes from Robert at PMDG. Ah, okay. Thank you. Never thought I'd have this much fun with the 737. Tow truck disconnected. Then I picked Bypass up this airplane. Road. Isn't this airplane just fantastic? Left <clears> is clear. <throat> right is clear. I've got way too much fuel. I did map my flaps to another... Yeah, that's what it was. Oops. Okay, flaps five set. Transponder set. Code set. APU can come off. APU bleed off. Packs back to auto. Isolation valve to auto. My favorite feature of Microsoft Flight Simulator, are you ready for it? This is my favorite feature of Microsoft Flight Simulator. The letter B. The letter B. Did I turn my probe heat on? I think I did. Yeah. Landing altitude will be 22. Auto throttle arm. I normally don't arm the auto throttle until I get to the runway. What do you guys do? Calypsia waits. Yeah, Barrow is set 3015. I love the B key. I love the B key.
I arm the auto throttle as I'm finishing up the AP setup. Flight directors, LNAV, VNAV, and auto throttle. So you do at it before the run. Uh, you so when you're taxiing down the uh, taxiway, your auto throttle is armed, Dave. Or do you set up the flight directors, LNAV, VNAV at the runway? I just use live weather and look up the local ATIS. That's what you should do. Yeah, Steven, I also do the same thing. I will I will hit the B key in X plane. <laughs> For some reason, my uh, it's got this bug where it says auto throttle disarm, but if I go to off and then back, no, oh actually, yeah, if I go if I go up to off and then back to RTO, that auto brake disarmed error message goes away. So I usually after engine start, I learned to do that by watching YouTube videos, which could lead to the downfall of humanity. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I uh, real world captains in the chat, real world captains in the chat. Please chime in as to what part of the process do you arm the auto throttle? Where are you? Where is the aircraft when you arm the auto throttle? But of course, some of the YouTube videos. Some some of the YouTube videos are real world pilots, but then again, you've got different airlines do different things. My my only reservation with the, arming the auto throttle is that if I engaged uh, N one accidentally, guess what happens on a taxiway? Not that you're going to engage N one or Toga accidentally, but. If you don't have the auto throttle in play, I don't think you can engage Toga or N1 accidentally. I'm not real world, but hopefully in the cockpit. You and me both, my friend. Uh, and then anyone here in chat, did they purchase the 600? And if so, why? Bankleton93 has changed his name. 67 months. Hard to believe it's been that long. 67 months. Binkleton 93, formerly known as Professor Binkleton 93. It has been a very long time. Am I going to be able to buy you a nice beverage one of these days in the real world? Am I going to be able to meet you across the pond or over this way? I purchased the 600 because that is the airplane that Janet flies. It's a spy thing. Okay. I was curious if anyone had. I have not, and nor do I have any plans to. But then again, it's not terribly expensive, is it? See, in order to fly Janet, I would probably just get a Janet livery for the 700. <laughs> but then it wouldn't be as real. That would be breaking realism, huh? We got a subscribe, Fishgo Blue 85 with the subscribe. I just got a notification, Fishgo Blue 85, that you just entered Microsoft Flight Simulator. On your computer so tell me are you are you do you have the GSX Pro are you thinking about getting it are you flying X plane instead what plane are you flying to and from or and we want to know the ins and outs of why you just launched Microsoft Flight Simulator I guess you're not doing X plane because it just said you're literally flying Microsoft Flight Simulator potentially I'm in Ohio but I do enjoy the Rockies there you go well are you going to go to Houston next year by chance? Thank you, Fishco Blue, for 54 months. D so, Binkleton, you did purchase the 600? 
Uh, Collimator 79. The 600 because it is similar, fast, and has a unique shape. I won't be buying it. I I don't know. I just never fly this. I, I never flew the 600 before, and I think I had it. I will be I will be in Houston in 2023. In fact, I'm planning on coming down to Texas uh, a few days before Expo, and I want to do some ham radio activity with D Money's 327 in Texas, and then somehow we'll make our way to Houston. You did not know interest in it really holding onto my money until the 800. Yeah, I'm gonna get the 800. And again, some people would argue, well, why why get the 800 if you have the 700? Well, it's because <clears throat> I guess it's like Dave. Dave likes to fly Janita. I like to fly an 800, which is a pretty common uh, plane for for Delta and for Southwest in particular. All right, landing lights on. Engines too continuous. Strobe and steady. You'll be there for Expo? Nice. Not for ham radio? Well, darn it. But we'll have to uh, have a uh, eyeball. QSO is what we call it in the ham radio world. Eyeball contact. Anyone know why I keep getting the Quaddle scripting engine hasn't started a message? That is a good question. I've had problems with Quaddle in the past. Now, let me ask you this, 94 Tells. Do you have the other pushback plugin in your community fo folder? The, uh, the That freeware mod that everyone was using. I took that out. I don't know if you have that in or not. I'm looking at going to the expo, but I don't know yet. Depends on work more than anything else. Well, if you could make your way down there, that would be cool. And maybe, maybe mix it with like a NASA trip. You know, Houston Space Center Museum, blah, blah, blah. All right, Towers told us to line up and wait. Oh, you do not have that? Okay, yeah, I don't know then. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna hit the screw here for Toga. He's canceling headphones on.
The mountains around Salt Lake City look amazing. They really do. And those those are the boring mountains. There's the some of the cooler mountains. Golf course. All right, 9,000 feet. Lock the gear handle. Stone Bridge. Oh, that's a great course. You know what? I haven't played that course in years. Binkleton 93, thank you for the 67 months. 67 months. I have to get back to work. Just wanted to stop in and say hi. Have a great day. Uh, you as well. I hope that... Uh, we can chat again soon. And who's your favorite football team? College football starting. Uh, the mountains. Yeah, we. Yep. I like Stonebridge. In fact, I have a a hole out. At I, like I said, I haven't played for many many years at Stonebridge, but I have a hole out. Uh, on one of the par fours there, and it was the hole out from about a hundred and five yards. You played all 27 holes? Nice. Yeah, it's, it's a good course. I played, uh, I had a vendor take me to Thanksgiving Point uh, this last week, and we did a two-man scramble versus two-man scramble. Uh, and, yeah, I had, some, I had some good shots, and then I had some bad shots. There is Parks on the Air, D Monies, any ham radio operators, Denise, 737. Uh, right there is where a POTA spot right there off the nose. That's, that's a Parks on the Air spot right, right there that I have done numerous activations from. There's Utah Lake. This over here is a valley called Eagle Mountain. Over this way the, off the nose. I was thinking about <clears throat> moving out that way. To get get a, get some nice acreage. There's what used to be Micron Technologies, which I believe is now Texas Instruments. That building. There's uh, Timpanogos, which is in the shape of an Indian princess. Those mountain tops. Provo, just up here off of the Utah Lake, just announced a uh, service to Las Vegas uh, from Allegiant Airlines. So if you're willing to gamble <coughs> on your arriving safely, you can fly now from Provo, Utah to Las Vegas. And they've, they've done some pretty, uh, <coughs> they've done some pretty nice uh, promotional fares as well.